Hi friends, welcome to Banking Needs. Today we are going to discuss about rupee closes at lifetime low of $82.33. Before entering to the topic, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. The rupee closed at a new low of $82.33 in the interbank foreign exchange market. On Friday, while the rupee had closed at $81.89 on Thursday, it later weakened to 82.30 in post market trade following large scale dollar purchases by state owned bank ostensibly for defense requirements the rupee weakened even as the rbi reported that the country's foreign exchange reserves dropped by 4.85 billion dollars to 532 billion dollars as of september 30 the lowest level since july 2020 this was the ninth consecutive week of decline. Foreign exchange reserves had touched a high of $645 billion in October 2021. Dealers said it was unusual for currency to slip so much without an external factor. This was a very rare occasion where there was a big gap between over the counter versus futures closing and normally it's around 5 to 10 paisa. The rupee is still in negative mode with further depreciation cannot be ruled out, said K and Day of United Financial Consultants. The rupee opened week on Friday and hit a low of 82.41. There was mild intervention by the RBI which supported the rupee marginally but could not prevent its closing at a lifetime low of 82.33. Although the dollar has not appreciated against major currencies, the sentiment in respect of the rupee continues to be weak. Markets will continue to be guided by the overall dollar strength and the macro events playing out. The dollar has not gained much recently, but the rupee has depreciated. The decision of oil exporters to cut production is a negative for the rupee, said Ashish Vaidya. Head of Treasury DBS Bank. He added that while crude oil prices will play a major role in determining India's macroeconomic fundamentals, they are not the only factor for the rupee which would be influenced whenever there is a risk on or risk of sentiment in global markets. Fed's hawkish than expected guidance drove global currencies sharply lower in September 22. Rupee 2 depreciated to a record low. Other factors contributing to the rupee weakness include elevated trade deficit, slowdown in foreign portfolio flows, and high domestic inflation. The adverse global environment entails that rupee is likely to remain under pressure in the near term, said an economic report from the Bank of Baroda. So, friends, I hope you all understand. If you like my explanation, please like, share and comment. For more latest videos, please subscribe to our Banking News channel and don't forget to activate bell icon. Thanks for watching.